but tonight, our little project, our company, had a very big night. A very, very big night. But it wasn't complete. It wasn't nearly close to being in the same vicinity as complete. Because I couldn't share it with you. I couldn't hear your voice. Or laugh about it with you. Okay, okay, let's start. We are looking for a Tom Cruise picture. We need an image without a smiling, without hairs on the face, a clean image like this. Then we open it in Photoshop. We have to cut and fix rotation. So we make a new file, we fix rotation, we cut the border. This is useful because we will use Character Creator and Headshot plugin, but we need an high resolution image. So we can improve with this program, Remini AI. It's a free version and there's a watermark, but that's not a problem because we only need this as a reference. Character Creator can make the texture and can make a 3D shape look like Tom Cruise with this picture. But at the end, the deepfake technology with real Tom Cruise faces, we will change everything. So we need only uh, clean up fast like this. We don't have to be perfect here, just clean a little bit. Then we are ready to save the image and open it in Character Creator 4. Okay, we are in Character Creator now. Headshot plugin has to do the job. The result is not perfect. We have to work a lot, uh, moving jaws, bones of the faces, resize eyes, lips. There's a lot of things to do, but you can easily do it with Character Creator. It's a great program. I leave you the description, the link on description, so you can try it. It's in trial version and. You can also buy it if you like. So we are looking for Tom Cruise eyes and realize I realize it's green. I thought it was blue, but he has green eyes. So we change, try to match the better result. Okay, this is not uh, useful for the final result, but it's useful for me because I want to make it more look alike Tom Cruise than I can. So. As I told you before, we can move jaws and bones, eyes, face, everything on the face to make it uh, more look like Tom Cruise than I can. Then, if you like, with uh, this program you can also open your model on ZBrush. And ZBrush is really good and works really amazing with, with this suite. So. Uh, we need uh, some reference for Tom Cruise, like hairs. Okay, I think I understand which kind of hair Tom Cruise had. So maybe we can use some default hair, like maybe like this. Oh, yeah, it's close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the wrong side, but it's okay. I'm almost sure the final result will be good. So, we have to maybe try another hair now, before, yeah, it's better now. Okay, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> then now, we finish to fix some stuff, like cheeks, nose, uh, maybe the chin, the jaw, the eyes. We have to open in the brush. In the brush, we can fix the eyes and the nose. Also, the body. <laughs> I don't think Tom Cruise is uh, like a bodybuilder guy like this. So maybe we change mm, the skin. Let me try to change the skin with no muscle. Mm, there's still a lot of muscle too, maybe. Uh, no, if I change the skin, I lost Tom Cruise's faces. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. 
it's better before okay we can make it a little skinny try to remove all that muscles maybe a little bit fat mm, something like this must be work there's a lot of slider you really lost in character creator uh, settings and I really suggest you to try it it's amazing for gaming for cinematics and movies or animation with iClone we have to change nails color default nails looks like paint nails okay this is more realistic because nails are almost transparent and they have the same color of the skin okay we improve the jaw we improve the eye the eye the brows it's almost like tom cruise and yeah it, it must not be perfect well the defect do the job but i want to open it in zbrush and maybe change some some stuff like the nose and the eyes tom cruise has have a particular face okay so yes I have changed my ZBrush setting and I'm using a pen tool with the Wacom so I don't remember the shortcut okay we're almost ready to zoom in the face I want to work around the nose around the eyes because Tom Cruise's nose is strange um, I'm looking at the second monitor, you only see the first monitor now. I'm looking at the second uh, to see reference pictures about Tom Cruise's face. So I'm almost sure I have to change the nose. Yep. Maybe uh, the tip, nostril too. Yeah, the center of the nose is not a straight nose. Also the eyes also the eyelid um, and a, th a secret is the faces uh, uh, human faces as are not uh, specular a 3d model a standard model that look like the symmetry is perfect uh, we are not a sim we have not a symmetric face so i want to change bells here in my town ringing every hour and it's almost 12 30 at go to it soon so i want to finish this video then i go to it okay now i think is more s tom cruise look like i have to change the nose i don't like this nose it's really big like a potato okay oh uh, yeah we are almost finished i speed up the process and I cut some part of the process because it's really long. Uh, the animation is really long because after I finish this, I want to open it in iClone 8 to do the animation, the lip sync. I download Tom Cruise's voice from a YouTube, from a movie, Jerry Maguire monologue. I link on the description the original video. Okay, we're almost ready. We have to, maybe we have to uh, do put some clothes on Tom Cruise is naked now well mm, I remember Maguire in the movie was cl dressed like this something like this it's okay we just put pants uh, shoes which kind of shoes we can uh, it's funny let me try to do high heels <laughs> like this mm, yeah <laughs> It's funny, but I prefer the normal shoes like this. Maybe brown? Uh, no, I don't like brown. Okay, this is better. Then, that's a long part now. I cut all the process because, trust me, it's really long. And this is the minimal 3D model with Tom Cruise's voice and a little bit of animation, an idle animation. 
then I need this to see if it works correctly. Then I can do uh, deep fake. A deep fake uh, it will be made from a video that I do right now with these models. So, okay, the result is good. Now let's do the video. I want to show you the 3D video made from this. Then I'll show you the deep fake process. So this is the video. Uh, it's a speed it up. This is the 3D model who we transform in Tom Cruise with the deep fake technology. Here the deep fake. As you see, is a long process, frame by frame, the technology recognize a face from a source of video and change with the Tom Cruise model. Then what is done, uh, just edit it with Adobe Premiere or something like that and change this uh, picture sequence with the original video and you have your deep fake. But tonight, our little project, our company, had a very big night. A very, very big night. But it wasn't complete. It wasn't nearly close to being in the same vicinity as complete. Because I couldn't share it with you. I couldn't hear your voice. Or laugh about it with you. Hey! Don't forget to like and subscribe.